for the Demon Deacons. Here's the first pitch. Jordan cranks this one to right center field. Moving back, it's going to be trouble as it dunks in there. Picked up by the right fielder, Harrington. He'll send it in. One run is in. They'll send another runner in. It's now 3-1. to one. I don't think he had his best stuff today. And, uh, you know, Wake Forest did a nice job against him in the first inning. And, you know, he just uh, grinded out, you know, seven innings for his team. And, you know, some, some days you're not going to have your best stuff. And uh, you just need to continue to fight and battle. And he certainly did that today. Swung on and missed. There's another strikeout for Brandon Klein. For Cooney, the 23 walks. His, his next pitch is cranked high in the air. Deep to left center field. That ball continuing to sail. It is gone. Chris Taylor crushes it over the left center field wall, leading things off. Here in the bottom of the first inning in Virginia, we'll answer right back in an emphatic way. They had all the momentum, um, but uh, but once he hit that, you know, a little bit of momentum switched back to our side. And uh, as soon as that happened, I knew I just had to go out there, you know, try to uh, try to keep them off base, um, try to you know do it as quick as possible because I knew I threw a lot of pitches in the first inning, and I just you know try to keep that same mentality from there on. Fielded by Klein, ranges over, throws the first in time for out number two. So now the 2-1 pitch on the way. Harrington swings at it. That one goes off the inside of the bat. Slow roller. The shortstop up and throwing over to first, but a run will score in the process. And Shiflet comes across to tie the game at three runs apiece on a ground out from Colin Harrington, who will drive his 13th run of the season across. And Virginia has pulled even here in the second. He's trailing nothing in one as he swings to the next pitch and drives this one to the alley in right center field. That drops in, and Virginia has gone ahead. It's now 4-3 to three on Stephen Bruno's 25th RBI of the season. Now the 1-2 pitch. He might do that. There's a ball driven out to right center field, ranging back as Stevens it gets over his head and rolls to the wall. One run is in for the Hoos. Now make it two, as sliding into third is Derek Fisher, his eighth triple of the season, two RBIs, and the Wahoos break it open a bit. It's seven to three. Today we um, certainly capitalized on our opportunities in the middle part of the game. You know, uh, uh, specifically Derek Fisher. You know, uh, his first three at bats, he had opportunities to knock some runs in, and you know didn't do it. And then you know his fourth and fifth at bat. You know, he got big clutch hits for us to drive in some runs, and, you know, that's what winners do. Swing and a miss. There's the strikeout to put him down in the ninth. 